I'm David Toman, author of NootropicsExpert.com, and in this video I'm going to share with you what I know about melatonin as a nootropic. What it is, why we use it, the science behind it, dosage, and side effects. Now, melatonin is a hormone produced in your pineal gland. Melatonin is often referred to as the sleep hormone. As your body's central clock, melatonin tells your body, brain, and organs when to be activated, when to take a break and rest. Melatonin and the neurotransmitter serotonin are both derived from the amino acid L-tryptophan. First, L-tryptophan is hydroxylated by the enzyme tryptophan hydroxylase. The uh, intermediate is decarboxylated by PLP and 5-hydroxy-L-tryptophan to produce serotonin. Serotonin acts as a neurotransmitter on its own, but is also converted into N-acetylserotonin by the enzymes serotonin and acetyltransferase and acetyl-CoA. Hydroxy-indol-O-methyltransferase and SAMe convert N-acetylserotonin into melatonin through the methylation of the hydroxyl group. This process is first fueled by, by the tryptophan you get from foods like turkey, chicken, tuna, oats, bananas, peanuts, and chocolate, or from a tryptophan supplement. You can also supplement with 5-HTP to produce serotonin, which will increase melatonin, or supplement with SAMe to produce melatonin. Or you can take a melatonin supplement on its own and bypass this entire process. Besides acting as your body's biological clock, melatonin is also a potent free radical sca scavenger and a wide-spectrum antioxidant. The beauty of melatonin as an antioxidant is its ability to cross into the blood across the blood-brain barrier. Now, adding melatonin to your nootropic stack gives you a head start in protecting you against Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease, decreases your chance of stroke, and helps reverse the brain damage caused by stroke or brain injury. The bonus is a good night's sleep and feeling refreshed the next day with your brain firing on all cylinders. First, melatonin promotes quality sleep. Your pineal gland acts as your body's central clock by secreting melatonin. This action tells your brain and other organs when it's time to be active and when it's time to rest. Melatonin helps regulate other hormones and maintains your body's circadian rhythm. Your pineal gland responds to darkness by producing melatonin. Blood levels of melatonin are low during the day with peak levels occurring from 2 to 4 a.m. One study at Duke University Hospital surveyed clinical trials from 1948 to 2009. Researchers found that children with ADHD using melatonin doses of 3 to 6 milligrams showed improvement in how the kids went to sleep and a significantly better quality of sleep. Another extensive survey of clinical trials was conducted by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services on melatonin use for sleep disorders. The overall conclusion of the research showed melatonin effective in improving quality of sleep and how fast a person went to sleep. This study included those who did not suffer with, from insomnia, those who did, and others who had a messed up circadian rhythm patterns due to shift work and jet lag. And second, melatonin prevents neurodegenerative disease. Melatonin improves longevity by increasing the longevity gene called SIRT1, or SIRT1. This gene plays an important role in maintaining metabolism and neuroplasticity. Melatonin is a powerful antioxidant, protecting your brain from free radicals and oxidative damage. It stimulates gene expression and intracellular antioxidant systems. And melatonin helps relieve the free radical damage that occurs after traumatic brain injury or stroke. Research has found that melatonin levels in Alzheimer's disease are closely linked. Greatly reduced melatonin levels have been found in Alzheimer's patients. 
high levels of melatonin are maintained throughout your youth and middle age. But as you age, it decre melatonin levels drop, and you're at a greater risk for brain damage both now and in the future. Your chance of having a stroke greatly increases as melatonin levels decline. Melatonin is both a neurotransmitter and a hormone. This neurohormone is produced in your pineal gland from the neurotransmitter serotonin with the assistance of SAMe and some enzymes. Melatonin is the mechanism by your pineal gland to function as your body's biological clock and is in charge of your circadian rhythm which tells your system when to be active and when to rest. As a nootropic supplement in a sleep aid, melatonin exerts its effects by acting as a phase resetter rather than as a hypnotic type drug. Supplementing with inexpensive melatonin helps restore your body's natural antioxidant production, guarding against age-related changes in your brain. Melatonin protects cholinergic neurons from amyloid and tau protein buildups related to Alzheimer's disease and melatonin offers potent antioxidant production for your brain. Supplementing with melatonin helps protect your brain against neurodegenerative disease, reduces stroke risk, and guards against brain trauma. I use melatonin every night to help me sleep. I use this melatonin lozenges, two and a half milligrams. I put one and a half under my tongue and let them melt and take about four ounces of tart cherry juice. And it takes about, I take it about 90 minutes before bedtime and sleep comes on within five minutes of hitting the pillow. And I sleep throughout the night. But melatonin as a sleep aid has mixed reviews among neurohackers and for good reason. Melatonin is a hormone that your body naturally produces from serotonin and too much melatonin is not good. Some find that supplementation with melatonin works well, and others find that it disrupts sleep patterns. If you are perfectly healthy and you do not deal with insomnia on a regular basis, then you don't need to supplement with melatonin. Everyone's body is, uh, chemistry is unique. Some find that a half a milligram of melatonin works well, and others require four or five milligrams. Experimenting is experimentation is key with this hormone. Some have found that melatonin helps regulate disrupted circadian rhythms caused by jet lag or night shift work. Now I've got quite a bit of research over on Nootropics Expert for melatonin. Um, I'm not going to go through each one of the clinical studies here in this video. So please go to nootropicsexpert.com and just search for melatonin and that'll take you to the transcript of this video. And there you'll find studies on things like melatonin and how it lowers cholesterol. I've got another study on how melatonin helps reduce insomnia, of course. Another one on how melatonin relieves mild cognitive impairment. And another study on melatonin replaces benzos for sleep. So if you'd like to see these clinical studies, please go to Nootropics Expert or click on the link below this video and uh, take a look at the full transcript for melatonin. Unlike uh, all the other nootropics we talk about over on Nootropics Expert, there is, a rec is not a recommended dosage for melatonin supplementation. Everybody has a different response to its effects. Lower doses like a half a milligram of melatonin work well for some who are especially sensitive. And higher doses can cause anxiety and irritability. The best approach is to start with very low doses of melatonin, like a half a milligram, and see how your body reacts. The right dose of melatonin should produce a restful night's sleep with no irritability or fatigue the next day. For jet lag, a half a milligram to five milligrams of melatonin an hour before bedtime at your final destination. Melatonin is considered very safe when taken in normal uh, low recommended doses. Some may experience nightmares or vivid dreams when supplementing with melatonin. 
melatonin can cause drowsiness if taken during the day. And if you experience a sleep hangover the next day, you too, took too much melatonin the night before. Other side effects include abdominal cramps, dizziness, headache, irritability, decreased libido, breast enlargement in men, and reduced sperm count. Melatonin can interfere with fertility, so if you're trying to get pregnant, do not use melatonin while you're pregnant. Melatonin can worsen the symptoms of depression. So if you're dealing with depression or are using antidepressant medication, you should avoid using melatonin. Remember that melatonin is a hormone. So if you have hormone-related issues, you must be careful about using it. Melatonin may increase the risk of bleeding and should be avoided if you're taking anticoagulant medications or if you're anticipating surgery. Melatonin can interfere with steroids and immunosuppressant medications and cause them to lose their effectiveness. Melatonin is available in capsules, tablets, and liquid, including like this sublingual tablet form that I have here, usually ranging from 1 to 5 milligrams. So my nootropics expert recommendation for melatonin is one to three milligrams a day. And that's my report on melatonin. If you want to see links to the studies I talked about, go to nootropicsexpert.com and search for melatonin. Or click on the link below this video. There you'll find a full transcript of this video and you'll find dozens of articles on all the well-known nootropics on Nootropics Expert. If you have any questions, or you want to share your experience using melatonin, please use the comments section at the bottom of the post on Nootropics Expert. I respond to comments and questions at Nootropics Expert usually the same day. If you want to see more videos on all the best nootropics used today, subscribe to this channel before you leave. I'll be putting up new videos on nootropics and optimizing your brain every week. I'm David Toman, author of Nootropics Expert.